welcome to the 38th Annual uh, Flat Valley Antique Machinery Show, uh, Annual Collector Show. We're excited to be here. It's, it's wonderful that even though a little bit of raindrops and stuff, we're just excited that we're able to have a full show this year. We won't mention what last year was, but 21 is uh, definitely in our favor, and we're excited about it. We have the Dave Babcock Memorial Tractor uh, Pool going on, and uh, we have a lot of uh, poolers. Uh, we have 120 tractors on the grounds as we speak, and we had 67 in the tractor drive yesterday. So we're just excited this, and it takes a whole team to pull together. It takes several months of preparation, and you know we're just excited about this. So uh, come on down, we're keep coming and supporting Flat Valley Antique Machinery Association. I want to introduce to you our 21 parade color guards. The Royal Rangers, Outpost 41 from North Shore Assembly of God and Hastings. The Royal Rangers program is an activity-based small group church ministry for boys and young men, kindergarten through 12. Our mission is to evangelize, equip, and empower the next generation of Christ-like men and lifelong servant leaders. We provide Christ-like character formation and servant leadership development for boys and young men in a highly relational and fun environment. I want to thank Forrest Caldwell, Roy Caldwell, Phil Hewn, Henry Hewn, Julie Lonnie Myers, Nick Myers, Jason Schutt. I want your attention to our flags. And I want to introduce to you a very special young lady, Ava Bonimus. Oh, can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hail at the twilight's last gleaming whose brush and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watch were so gallantly streaming and the red gates declare the bomb burst the air keep
Kay from Grand Island. Says her boyfriend William bought this for the first year anniversary two years ago. All right. What's she gonna get for the next anniversary?
shop in Wood River about 25 years ago. Hang on, Howard. I got something special for you. Where is he? Best of show, Howard, for the feature tractor. 2021. And here comes your prize. That is mine. 
driven by my wonderful husband, Tom Dawes. We, we went to New Hampshire to pick this little gym up, and my husband and sons have been restoring it, and it's just cutting along. Are you going to let me drive it later? <laughs> Who knows? A 1970. This is our 70. No, this is not. This is John Deere. This is not right. This is, this is our. Oh, oh, stop. Stop. Stop, stop please. Robert. Alright. Got this right. Robert Burris is the one who's given us. Robert, can you stop? He's not listening. All right, Robert, we want to give you something. The best of show, the small engines coming your way. Thank you for the special treat that you've given to us. I don't know. It's a 3419. This one's that. This is a 1946. Custom made John Deere half scale Bob and, Poli Bob and, uh, Bob and Pauline Burris from Blake. And Blake is driving. Pulling a 29 John Deere. Force hit and miss engine. I'm trying, folks. Oh, and here is our. President John Housen on his high crop John Deere. He didn't put what year it is. Hey, 51. One of 246 built. Here comes Matt Howe on a 1959 John Deere from Gothenburg. the number. 
so many things and I appreciate all your work and we are looking forward to all that you're going to do for us. Thank you, Trish. I'm supposed to embarrass you, but I'm not going to. from her father. Followed by uh, Mayans 
Torrington. We want to thank the Bates family for helping us in the garden tractor pull. No. <laughs> Did you, didn't I just see you on a cub? Yeah, you switched colors on me. Here comes Tom on a 1945 John Deere A. a. I wonder how many tractors he's going to drive today. Here comes a 3020, a 1964 John Deere. Owner is Michael Fish from Hampton, Nebraska. Here's another one of our Spurrier family collection. A 1952 DC case driven by Brian Spurrier. Elmer, you finally decided to join us. Who comes uh, Elmer Sr. on a 1937 CC case? Thank you, Elmer, for all that you do and for the all the work in the on the wheat field and the threshing and bringing all this equipment. We sure appreciate it. Here comes Warren Roll Post on uh, John Carlson's John Deere 630, Air, Nebraska. Oh, he's got a passenger. John, you need some more passengers in there. Anybody want to ride? Here comes the Farm Mall Inn. Bill Anderson, owner from Superior. We're picking up passengers. Go for it. Bill Anderson. Here comes a 1953 Super H Farmall. Dan and Michelle Brandenberger from Glenville. Super C Farm Mall. Another owner, Dan and Michelle Brandenberger from Glenville. Thank you. Oh, that looks nice. Okay. Here comes a 1948 Farm Mall H. Roger Yost from Hastings. Summer. I think a little rain didn't hurt these tractors, kind of shined them up. 1952 John Deere B, another owner, Roger Yost. Ashley, driving. Well, you don't look like Trisha to me. Here comes a 1952 Model 60 John Deere, owned by Trisha Spurrier. Oh, wait a minute. The 93, yeah, she's behind you. Somebody gave me the wrong number. I know, it's a John Deere A, AW. Uh, Elmer Jr. driving this. Thank you for setting me straight. Here comes Trish. Good tell from Clay Center, Nebraska. 